Salve Maria! Today we have the solemnity of the Holy Family and the liturgy gives us the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Uh, it was a law of Moses. When the days were completed, says St. Luke, for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, we could think that they presented him to the Lord because it was the law of Moses, as it says here. But that's not the main reason in all reality, because God is from all eternity. And God made the laws according to what was for the greater glory of God. And there we see that Jesus wanted to be presented in order that at the very beginning of his life, he offer himself up as a sacrifice to God the Father because the temple was a symbol of where God was praised, where God acted upon the people of Jerusalem, but not only of Jerusalem, but all of Israel and in a special way, all of humanity. And our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to go there in order to offer himself up as soon as possible. And so that was the greater reason for the law of Moses and to be symbolic and in uh, paying for the sin of humanity and that our Lord Jesus Christ who was the firstborn of humanity, of God the Father, he offered himself up and offering himself up it's as if to say humanity had to do something in a similar way. So that's why in Egypt, the Israelites when they left, the Egyptians lost their firstborn, but the Israelites were saved. And so it was to repair all of those things that our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to be presented in the temple by Our Lady, by Saint Joseph, to Simeon, to God but through the prophet Simeon. And also Simeon, Saint Simeon, was filled with the Holy Spirit. He desired for the coming of the Messiah that would change the whole situation of Israel. Our Lady and Saint Joseph were also filled with the Holy Spirit. Anna was there in the temple praying all the time, was also filled with the Holy Spirit. So we see that in special circumstances, our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to be specially united and surrounded by people that had the correct vision of supernatural things. Supernatural vision. They loved our Lord Jesus Christ. And all those that were there that were not part of this, either it's because they were not called in a special way, but many of them, it's that they didn't understand anything what was going on, or very little, because they were not following entirely the laws of God. So we see that in order to understand what God does in the world, what are God's plans, we have to be as faithful as possible to the mission that God gives to each and every one of us. And today is the Holy Family. The Holy Family is a symbol and an example for each and every one of us within the family. Saint Joseph, a wonderful spouse, filled with sanctity, filled with goodness, filled with the desire to please Our Lady, to please Our Lord Jesus Christ, but not only in a human way, but much more in a supernatural way. Our Lady, even more, always perfect in everything that she did, how she treated Saint Joseph, always being entirely faithful to him, always being entirely filled with the highest desires of sanctification towards St. Joseph, but above all, towards the child Jesus. And what to say about the child Jesus? God himself, he wanted to be subject, he wanted to humiliate himself so that each and every one of us can learn how to arrive at perfection in the family. What is the solution to the problems in our family? Or what is the best way to arrive at the perfection in our family? That's what the child Jesus, Our Lady, 
and St. Joseph teach us humility, to always place the other in the best place possible. Humility is to accept any difficulty upon ourselves, but willing to do all sorts of sacrifices and lovingly do good, be generous with the others in the family. That's something that we can do in our daily lives. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Salve Maria.